Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of being back home. Before I get into this video again, uh, my name is Vaduva for those who are new here and for those who are returning, thank you so much for being here. And with no further ado, we're gonna get into this video. So getting into this video, generally being back for me has been a roller coaster. I've had roller coasters of emotions, um, mentally, physically, emotionally, I've been going through a huge roller coaster. Let's start quickly with physically. I've been so used to running. I love running. I it's a love-hate relationship that I have with running, but I've always enjoyed running to keep fit and whatever and also for my health. But being back, I haven't been able to run not even one day yet. I haven't been able to run because firstly, people I live with say it's not safe until you live in the country you don't realize the fear people walk in you don't realize how crippling the fear of being robbed is emotionally i'm still dealing with a lot of things i'm still readjusting and whatnot so topic for another day and psychologically also a lot of things it's, a lot of things are really going down um i think when you are preparing so this is Talking about my experience, but also giving tips to people who are probably going back home at some point in their lives. When you are going or planning to go back home, um, please reconsider reverse culture shock. When I was leaving Namibia for the Netherlands, I was prepared. Um, people spoke to me about culture shock. People gave me books and articles to read on culture shock. I was kind of like prepared. I knew, I knew things were gonna happen. I knew things were gonna change. And I was expecting to get there and like know that I'm not in Namibia. Whatever I'm used to is not gonna be happening on the other side. I was prepared for somewhat what I went to when I went to the Netherlands to start with. But for some reason, a lot of times when we are preparing to go back to our home countries, we hardly consider the fact that we've been gone, I've been gone almost four years um, without breaks in between, without being able to come back, not willingly because of COVID, I couldn't come back um, the last two years. And so I was unable to come back now. And um, four years is a long time. And a lot of times we think just because, yeah, it's home country, I speak Herero, I still understand Oshivambo and Damara and this and that. You think you are just going back into a society you left behind. As people who have been living abroad, I mean, we don't work on reverse culture shock. We don't work on the fact that when we do get back home, there is so many things that aren't the same anymore. There's so many things that are different. There's a lot of things you don't know. You think you know this and that because it's home country you don't know anything um everything you thought you knew you don't know and so i think if you are planning to go back to your home country please please look into culture shocks of going back to your home country reverse culture shocks talk to your people see what has changed see what's going on also keeping in touch with people back home gives you a better understanding of what kind of culture shocks you can expect when you do go back um and also there's no such thing as oh yeah i'm going to my home country so nothing is going to happen a lot of things have changed so you're definitely going to experience culture shock and then that's the other point a lot of people who have not left like their home countries when you come back and you are experiencing culture shock people don't understand that they're like oh, you're just being unnecessary what is this western westernized person or whatever um when i came back i had some culture shocks a lot of things just shook me um a lot of things i expected because i've been in touch with my people i've i know a bit of our namibian people man mannerisms and stuff like that but um it's also different please be gracious with yourself it's very different preparing to experience culture shock and then and actually leaving the culture shock is two different things you're preparing you're just reading you're just you know but when you get there and you're leaving the culture shock it's so much different it's so much harder and you just need to be gracious and you just need to be kind and be nice to yourself because it is a change after all and change sometimes doesn't come easy apart from all the excitement that i get from arriving at the airport and being and being told welcome back home i've had a few encounters where i really felt like a stranger in my home country i felt i've been with people and you feel so lonely yet you're surrounded by people i've been i've been with people and i um i am a stranger I'm a stranger to them. It brought me to the point where I realized that, wow, in Europe, 
I'm an immigrant. I'm a foreign national. I'm a stranger. I am a foreigner, you know? I call myself a citizen of the world at the moment. And even though you're a citizen of the world, even though I am a citizen of the world, I don't have a place anymore. <laughs> I don't have a place where I don't feel strange anymore. I feel like a stranger everywhere, yet I feel home everywhere. It's, it's, a, it's very complex, it's very tough, it's very diverse, it's, it's very nice. <sighs> it's a weird feeling. <laughs> and but being back home and feeling like a stranger hit me really hard it was the hardest thing i had to deal with i think i cried a few tears because when you go home you expect to be home and being and feeling like a stranger when you're amongst your people was probably the hardest thing for me to take in the hardest and also not just taking in but actually working around it and realizing and knowing that you are a stranger to a lot of people and you will never feel home ever again anywhere yet everywhere will feel like home i get a bit emotional talking about it because i'm a very homey person i i like togetherness i like that and being able and being home where togetherness is supposed to be um normal or i don't even know who said it's supposed to be but it's home and not experiencing it was probably the hardest thing every little thing i did was linked to me going to europe and um, a lot of people have a picture of who you were before you left and have kept that picture and have not probably realized that you that you've changed right they have not realized that you you've changed that you will change and so they keep they keep this idea of who you are and when you come and you're different they cannot fathom that you are different and then they treat you so differently and so it's hard as a person who's been gone to come back into that setting but then also i'm understanding that people won't understand what has happened to you they, they won't understand the experiences they, they won't understand the growth they won't understand a lot of the stuff right and you can't blame them they've never left they've never known different and so it's one of those things that come and you just have to take it especially when you are the one who's returning home you've you're the one who's been gone and you are coming back into that space into that environment and so when you've been gone and coming back home you need to understand that people do not understand not everybody understands your experience not everybody understands and so when you are planning to to go back to your home country you need to look into reverse culture shock because you will especially when things have changed friends are married they have children their mothers were well, like a lot of my friends when i left they weren't even having children some were just engaged or just just dating or whatever and now a lot of them are married and a lot of them have children and so the dynamics already changed so when you're coming back to your home country prepare for the reverse culture shock because you will you will go through some sort of culture shock and being back in your home country and then also prepare for change and prepare to embrace the change that will come with being back home because apart from like for example efficiency and being able to easily travel and being safe with your phone um whatever on the train in europe you have to prepare that it, it's going to change it's not going to be like that when you get back home one and two you need to embrace it you need to you you can't be like oh yeah but in europe and walk around with your phone because your phone's gonna be gone <laughs> so prepare for change but embrace the change when you're in rome you do like the romans so that's that's how preparing and embracing change um work um hand in hand when you keep in touch with people when you go abroad it's easier to come back and continue and not catch up and not oh fill me in and not like Ooh, wow it's been long because it doesn't feel like it's been long all the people that i've kept in touch with since i've been gone it did not feel like four years at all it just felt like what yeah because when you keep in touch time time doesn't become the factor you don't feel time go by because you're kind of um, following each other and in each other's lives as the seasons change as you're experiencing your growth they also see it and they kind of live in your experience they live in your moment they live in your growth and so with that when you get back it's easier it's easier to just go back into the flow with these same friends because you are not like i said catching up you're just picking it up where you left off last night when you were catching your flight back home this is something i learned just being back that not everybody understands and it's okay that they don't understand and that you need 
to give room for people because you're the one who's been gone. You're the one who's had the experience. You're the one who's had the growth. You're the one, yeah. So you need to give room. You need to make room and be patient and, and, and be kind. And some do catch on and others don't and it's okay when they don't. And then lastly, I think when you're coming back home, you have this picture of what Ventuk looks like or what your hometown looks like. And then when you get back, everything is different. And this is one thing we have to keep in mind as people who travel and come back to our home countries. Things change. Um, buildings change. Pep isn't there. It's not where you thought it was. So don't think it's there. Don't assume. Just ask. You've been gone. You've been gone too long. You don't know where anything is. Just ask. <laughs> Secondly, Google Maps in Ventuk is a trap. It probably works but i got lost using google maps one time this is my last story and then i'm going to close this off <laughs> i got lost using google maps one time i was looking for a building and this and then I, I so i get the address i put it on google maps i think i got dropped off somewhere in osbornplatz and on google maps it says i've arrived at my destination and in the area where i got dropped off there was nothing the building i was looking for wasn't even there and yeah i got lost for a good 45 minutes didn't find the building took another taxi to another location didn't find that building i ended up going home so whatever you do just ask people next to what is it do not use google maps don't trust google maps too much whatever you're looking for is probably not where it is because google maps has probably not even been updated for a while now and so that is my two cents on me being back i'm i'm happy to be back i'm not permanently back because i'm not done with the world yet but it's a it's a short term long term stay at the moment and so until further notice i'm gonna be in namibia and yeah and so this is the end of the video i just want to give a huge shout out to everybody that sees me in town and actually comes up to greet me i've had a few encounters few lovely encounters with people who, who know me from instagram who know me from youtube and they just come up to greet me it it i love it if you see me and you you know me from youtube whatever please come say hi i don't buy it i i'd like to say hi i'd like to meet you so do not be afraid with that said thank you guys so much for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed like and yeah please do come through in the comment section please also share the link and let's grow the family i'm working i'm working on consistency i'm working on getting back on track on like getting our videos out there and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one